What is going on, everybody? It is PJ here. Um, I am just now getting back from seeing the new Batman movie. Oh my god, guys. Let me tell you. It was amazing. It was incredible. The story, the acting, it was... It, the whole thing was phenomenal. Um, I, feel, I can't remember the name of the guy who played the Riddler, but the Riddler was fantastic. Um... Probably has to be my favorite Batman villain outside of Heath Ledger's Joker. I thought I thought the guy who played the Riddler did fantastic. Um, I had some doubts, some reservations about Robert Pattinson playing Bruce Wayne slash Batman in the new movie. However, I thought he nailed it. I thought he I, I thought he hit a home run with how he portrayed Bruce Wayne and Batman. Uh Zoe Kravitz, I believe her name is, played Selena Kyle. She was awesome with her portrayal of Selena Kyle. I it was a very different approach on Selena Kyle, aka Catwoman. I loved it. I it was so good. Andy Circus, like always, hit his part out. Uh he was playing Alfred, uh Bruce's butler. The way he he had a very I don't want to say small role, but a minor role. Um, compared to the other Alfreds and the other DC mo Batman movies. Um, but I, I thought Andy Serkis did phenomenal. Um, Jeffrey Wright. God, Jeffrey Wright as Commissioner Gordon was so good. Um, so it, or I, should I say Chief Gordon? Because I don't think he was Commissioner in this. Um, the, the story. Um, I don't want to get into any spoilers, Outside of The Dark Knight, outside of Christopher Nolan's trilogy of Batman, which Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises, I think this is the best Batman movie outside of The Dark Knight. Story-wise, this movie was gripping. It, I, I loved it. I, I, I caught myself talking to myself a couple of times, being like, so is this happening here because of this? Oh, I get it. Okay. So, like, there were times where I'm sitting there and I'm talking to myself and I'm like, this is a very different direction they're taking the story. But it, the story was incredible. And the twist, oh, God, so good. And the way this movie ended, um, I don't want to spoil it, but the way it ended, fantastic. I I am so happy with the way this movie ended. It it was so good. Um, I I can't get over with how happy I am with this movie. The only complaint that I have, the biggest complaint I have, is that the runtime. Now it's a little long. It's three hours. Um, I think if you shaved off like ten or fifteen minutes, I think it would have been fine. There are some scenes between Bruce and Selena that I think could have gotten trimmed a little bit. Um, but overall, movie's fantastic. I highly recommend it for any anybody that wants to go see a new Batman movie. Um, oh man, the, the Riddler, I like, the, the Riddler was fantastic. Um, and I think, I love Jim Carrey and Jim Carrey's portrayal in the Val Kilmer movies. As a regular, I think a lot of people are kind of turned off by the fact that it's the regular again because of his performance. So I think a lot of people going into this movie, they're going to be like, oh, it's the regular. He's a joker. Well, not a joker. He, you know, he's more of a comic relief villain. Um, but in this movie with with the portrayal of the joker, I. I'm not the joker, excuse me, of the regular. I think it was fantastic. He, he knocked it out of the park and. For a PG thirteen movie, they get dark. Like there's there the violence in this felt real. It felt visceral. It felt grounded. It was, and I I think the biggest accolade I can give this movie is the fact that Robert Patterson and Matt Reeves made Batman feel beatable. Okay, like they made him feel like he's just he really is an ordinary man doing these obscene things and not every time he's going to win 
not every time he's going to be a step ahead. There's going to be a time where he's going to get outsmarted. He's going to do something wrong. He's going to fuck up. There, And I think what Matt Reeves and Robert Patterson did with Bruce Wayne and Batman in this movie brings a sense of realism and groundedness to the display of Batman that I don't think we've seen. Now, don't get me wrong. I love the fact that with the Christopher Nolan movies and the Val Kilmer movies, they... They have their moments where they're over the top. Like when Bruce gets sky hooked out of, you know, um, Lao Ming. I think that's his name. Um, his building in, in the Dark Knight. Like, you have your over the top moments. But in this, like, I felt like the set pieces were very real and very grounded. Um, and I loved it. Like, I thought this movie was absolutely fantastic. Um, if I had to rate it on, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to have to give this movie a 10 out of 10. Um, the cinematography, the acting, the story, oh my god, it was fantastic. Um, if you guys have three hours to kill and want something to do and you guys can get together and, you know, go and see this movie, I highly recommend it. This movie was, this movie was absolutely fantastic. It was so good. Um, please go and see this movie. Do yourself a favor. It was so good. Um, yet again, I'm going to say it one more time, 10 out of 10, this and Spider-Man, No Way Home, 10 out of 10s. Two of my favorite movies of all time. I, 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 like, I'm speechless. Like, this movie was just fantastic. Guys, anyways, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. See y'all later. Bye.